Um, so if we go back to my childhood, I was, was brought up in the Catholic Church uh, and I was confirmed at the age of 12. Um, and at that point, I think my confirmation was, was more about tradition and expectation than my own personal view and my own um, personal decision. Um, so after being confirmed, around the age of 14, uh, 13, 14, I kind of fell away from the church. You know, I turned into a, a young teenage guy. Um, we didn't have a, a, a youth group or a youth pastor to keep us on track, to keep us on the path. So, uh, you know, I fell away. I, I got jobs and uh, I went out and did the stuff that uh, most teenage boys would do in England. Um, and, I, and I definitely fell far from God. Um, so then, fast forward a few years and I, and I kind of got into my 20s and I felt this calling from God. I felt like I had to return to church, return to God. When I met my wife, Sarah, before we got married, um, her brother and sister-in-law were part of a church. And uh, this one time I was invited to the cinema with them to watch The Passion. And uh, we went to see The Passion um, at a cinema in our local industrial estate, which was probably about seven or eight miles from our home. And I sat in the cinema and I watched, I watched that movie and I, and, I, and I saw what Jesus went through for us. And even now it brings me to tears because I think about the sacrifice he made for us. And even after that movie, I couldn't talk to anybody who I went to the movie with. I left the cinema and I just walked home and I was sobbing. I was so sad about what happened. You know, that, that, that visual experience I had, you can read about it in the Bible um, and you can paint a picture, but when you, you know, for me, when I saw it on the screen like that, and I saw what he went through for us, um, the, the pain and the sorrow I felt was enormous. So, as I say, I, I walked home from the cinema, Sarah came and found me, um, I was just walking in the dark, crying my eyes out, because I was so sad. And uh, it was after that that I decided it was, you know, that was it, that was the trigger for me, time to return to church. So we joined the church in, in our local community, um, St. Peter's, which was um, uh, Church of England, Anglican Church. And we were members of that church right up until 2012 when Toby was born. And it was at that point that we decided uh, that we were going to move to the Middle East. So uh, our, our journey of faith took a huge turn as well because, um, you know, churches were hard to come by in the Middle East and we, we tried to find a church that we liked. Um, when we'd lived in Qatar, we looked for churches. We didn't find anything that suited us, our style of worship. Um, and then the same when we went to Oman, you know, it was difficult to find something. So between 2012, really, and 2019, we were, we were literally and metaphorically walking in the desert. You know, a lot of our time with God was spent at home. Uh, you know, we would, we would read scripture, we would pray, pray with our son. Um, and I mean, we had the most ama amazing journey there as well because we met so many other Christians and I, I had opportunities to pray with people in my office um, in the Middle East, which was something that I'd never done while I was at church in the UK. You know, it was a completely, it was a, it was a bizarre experience. Um, so then when we moved to, to Canada, into Vancouver, um, we, uh, we found the Bridge Church. I mean, God, God has certainly made a way for us to be here. Uh, so many doors have been opened and, you know, the fact that we landed here right before uh, COVID uh, changed the immigration rules. You know, we've, we really believe that God has put us in this place. So we're really pleased about that. And in coming back to the Bridge, uh, coming to the Bridge Church and being part of the Bridge Church, has, it's really felt like we've come, come back to the Lord's family, which has been an amazing experience for us. Um, so this is the exact reason why I'm here today and why I've chosen to be baptized, because to me, I've always, I've always known I've been saved, but right here, right now, this is my decision to stand in front of God as an adult and say, thank you, Father God, thank you, Lord Jesus, 
thank you for saving me and thank you for your grace and mercy um, and I want to renew that covenant with you again and uh, so that's that's why I'm here today and that's that's what this is about for me.